So autistic people and focusing can be really, really difficult. I actually created a few strategies that I use to help me focus and stay on track when I'm doing things like my work and academia and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to share it all with you right now. Guys, what's going on? My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos all about this stuff. So if you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the follow button to make sure that you don't miss a video that I release daily on these channels. So guys, whew, I am in the middle of writing my book, my second book, which is cool because I'm a dyslexic guy. Writing a book is super difficult, but I use different tools like Grammarly for, for making sure the spelling, uh, making sure, but yeah, basically the spelling and the, the grammar is correct. But I also, um, how, I, how I write the book is that I uh, speech to dictate using my iPhone to write onto my notes and then I transpose that into Grammarly and then Grammarly sorts it all out and then I put that into a Word document and send it to my editor and it's all gravy. But one thing I found is I was finding it really difficult to focus on my work. Like, how do I how do I get the, the motivation to go, okay, do you know what? Today I'm gonna to sit down and just destroy three chapters of my book, right? It wasn't happening. And one of the main issues with it was the focusing. Focusing is super, super difficult. So I've listed out three things that I use to really hack my brain into allowing me to go, kind of get into focus mode. And the first one I wanna talk about is Brilliant. Now, Brilliant is a uh, non-habit farming homeopathic uh, medication, uh, which F where guys, if you are going to try any medication, uh, always consult with your doctor first. And this is a over-the-counter one, so it's not a, a prescription-based medication, but it basically enhances clarity, improves concentration, reduces feelings of anxiety, stress, restlessness, irritability, and impulsivity, which is perfect for me because that is exactly the problem I had when trying to sit down and focus on something when you have autism and ADHD. And basically how it works is you take uh, three to four of these a day, Give it about a week or two to kick in and you'll be able to see the difference. I, I honestly, I don't know how I went so long without actually having Brilliant. So thank you to, to Brilliant for actually sponsoring this video and sending this over to me because um, having Brilliant now for way over a year has changed my life uh, in a good way. So thank you Brilliant for that. But I highly recommend checking it out because what it does is it allows you to focus more. It's kind of like a, a natural way for you to feel a bit more energized to focus. It's hard to explain without you actually trying it, but it's up to you. But there is a discount code down below as well. Uh, you can get 15% off and they ship worldwide. So. That's kind of cool. Okay guys, so number two is using music. Now I get my uh, my groove on and I listen to some music on my iPad, but I play music that um, is uh, something that will calm me down. So uh, it will be Tycho or Owl City or something that's kind of like just dead ambient and more musical than kind of lyrical or, or you know, or rather than aggressive punk rock or, or skateboarding kind of music. And what this does is it allows me to kind of really concentrate on the music whilst focusing on my work because what happens is the music allows my brain to kind of, if it wanders off that way, it will listen to the music and chill out rather than if my brain wanders off and makes me want to get up and make a cup of tea or walk around the room or do something ridiculous which is not writing my book or focusing. So those things uh, for music is really, really, really helpful and I use that a lot. Now the third thing is I use this sun lamp. Now I've done a video specifically talking about the sun lamp and how it helps with my SAD, which is Season Affected Disorder. But also what I've noticed that when I've got the lamp on on the on the left hand side of my face, uh, when I'm trying to write my book, it actually really keeps me focused and in one spot enough time to write lots and lots and lots of chapters of my book and edit the heck out of it, which is really interesting. So I've collaborated and mixed these together. I've got music in the background with my lamp on and I'm taking my Brilliant medication, which is really helping me super focus and get my book ready, which I'm super excited about, by the way, to get my book out. It's gonna be like a guide to living awesomely on the autism spectrum. I'm really, really excited about it. But in regards to that, it could be used for anything. It could be like when I'm making websites, when I'm making videos, when I'm editing videos, when I'm doing something else, like anything that involves me to hyper-focus and really sit down and really retain that focus and attention, uh, these three little hacks are golden. I'd love to know yours as well. So drop in a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you think this is gonna help somebody. Share it on all social media if you think someone can get benefit from it. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.